Well, the itty bitty baby greenhouse is pretty full. I have about 200 tomato plants. Um, plus some flowers and herbs and some miscellaneous things like Swiss chard and kale that I'll be planting in, in my gardens. Um, this little greenhouse is only six feet by eight, so it is really full right now. We have, let's see, 4th of July, which is a fast growing indeterminate tomato cup cup let's see a couple ounces on the fruit size i have reports that it does really super well even down at lower elevations where it's hotter in the summertime that it a lady in kearney said that uh hers in a big pot on her patio had fruit all the way till christmas last year she was thrilled she's ordered several more plants for this year and then there's some early girl, which is always a real popular variety because it's also only 50 some days to first harvest. And then there's some best boys. And then um, I do have some cherry tomatoes and yellow pear and things like that coming along. They're not all ready yet though. I've been a little slow getting started in the house because it's been so cold. And of course, tomatoes and peppers and things do not like to be cold. There's a little bit of cilantro. There's some thyme. Um, a fun thing that I'm doing this year is alpine strawberries. These won't be ready for a little bit. And then there's some snapdragons and some baby's breath, some sage down there. So lots of stuff going on. And a reminder that the Globe Miami Farmer's Market annual plant sale will be Saturday, April 1st. That's is 2023 in case this video is still around late next year. Um, and from like 8 to 12 in the train park in downtown Globe. So we'll see you there.